Joined by Ivan Corbin after Carson Newman takes down Newberry 24-14. Ivan, uh, how grateful do you feel for the team's performance in a game like this to come through against the top 10 team and, and win this game? What kind of emotions are you going through? Uh, I want to give all the glory to God and those guys up front. You know, whenever we can execute the game plan, I don't, nobody can stop us. When you were getting ready for this game, I'm sure the forecast played big into it. You're thinking it's going to be raining the whole game. We're going to have a flood. It's going to be brutal. <laughs> I don't think it rained one time nope. today. Uh, how did that alter your mindset as you were getting ready for this one earlier today? Well, coming into the game, we thought we was just gonna, it was just going to be a ground and pound game. But, you know, if they had to run the ball every play and we had to run the ball, I like us. So either way, it was going to be a good game plan. You mentioned the guys up front. Well, an injury to your center, Brian Doe, forces a reshuffling, and there wasn't a beat missed. What kind of credit can you give to that group of five? Uh, Colt came in and did a great job. And uh, the rest of the line, they just kept holding their block. Claude came in at a tackle and did a great job. But, you know, I couldn't do nothing I could do without them guys up front. So hats off to them. After all the frustration that has been through for this first month of the season, uh, how would you describe the emotions uh, in the locker room right now coming away with this kind of win? Well, you know, we, we knew we could win, we, we could win, but we just had to put a whole complimentary game together. And I think today was the day, and I'm just super grateful for it. Late in the first half, you go out there for a field goal, it gets blocked, they run it back for a touchdown, 14 nothing after all the hurdles that you've had to jump through this year. Played great for about 29 minutes, that happens. But you guys go down and score a touchdown on the very next drive. What was being said on the sideline there that really ensured that you guys wouldn't get down from that moment? Uh, Coach Kalani just told us to fight through adversity. You know, we pra we practiced these situations in practice, and I think it showed up here in the game. You know, we can't get down. It was a 14-0 lead, but we knew that our defense would step up and make some stops. We just had to put the ball in the end zone. It looked like you guys ran the option more frequently in this game than you had at any point uh, this year. What, how much did that play into the strengths of what you're capable of doing for this team? Uh, it opens up run lanes for me, you know, when I can get the ball to those guys on the perimeter and they gash them for 10, now they start keying on them. Safeties have to start coming down and filling, and that just leaves more running lanes open for me. Whenever my time is, whenever my time is called, that's when I'll execute. Certainly for uh, a lot of teams, it's, hey, take the night, celebrate it. But I think for this group, you guys might want to celebrate it for a day or two. What kind of uh, celebration do you want to ensure that your guys soak this one as you, as you get ready for next week? Uh, a safe one. You know, yeah. we're going to go back. We're going to take tomorrow off, enjoy this one. But we back to the drawing boards. we got uh, Tuscum next week. You know, that's a big one on the schedule. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to celebrate this one tonight. But we back to the drawing boards tomorrow. Ivan, really appreciate the time. Go celebrate this one. Yes, sir. Thank you. It's Ivan Corbin.